Quick shout out to my patrons. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey y'all, it's Kate from the Literary Apothecary and welcome back to another episode of Bibliotherapy Sunday. Today's video goes out to one of my closest friends whose family is going through a really hard time. Um, and today's video is dedicated to depression, suicide, that feeling that you feel like you're just completely alone in the world. I hope that some of these books will help you and your family get through this incredibly tough moment. But just know also that we are here for you. Your booktube family is here for you. We love you. I love you. I've been through this. I've thought about suicide before. I've tried suicide. I've got friends that have gone through this before. I've got friends that have committed suicide before. So you're not alone. If you need absolutely anything, just reach out and let me know. I'm there for you and I love you to the moon and back. So on with our recommendations. So first and foremost, y'all have heard me talk about this book before, but I can't not mention it right now. That's The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. This book is chicken soup in book format. I feel like there's a character for everyone in this book. There's someone or something that just about everyone can relate to in this book. It makes you feel like you're not alone in the world. Um, from the Novel Cures list of the 10 best novels to cheer you up, I recommend I Capture the Castle by Dottie Smith. I absolutely loved this book so much. It was so cute, so unique, so special, so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Quirky? It was the best. And then from the Novel Cures 10 Best Novels for the Blue, if you are just feeling so down, you don't want to cheer up, you just want to feel down. Sometimes we have those moments. Two recommendations from this list, The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, or really just about any Toni Morrison book, will just embrace you in that hug that just lets you cry your eyes out. Also, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath, along with many, many other writers, have been in this situation before. Sylvia Plath committed suicide. Uh, so what better the, when you're feeling depressed and you're having those thoughts than to read an author that's gone through that before. So The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Um, a more recommendation so you don't feel alone or give you gives you a different perspective on life. Um, the Unbearable Lightness of Being by Mila Kundra and Fahrenheit 451. These will give you totally new looks on life and hopefully will make you feel better. Um, just a couple more. For you've got a loss of hope. You've just lost all hope in life and humanity and everything. Try Reading of Mice and Men um, by John Steinbeck. This book these characters have nothing left to live for. They've got every reason to lose hope, but yet they still have hope in the end. And I don't, I don't know what it is about John Steinbeck's writing, but every time I read his writing, I just get this sense of hope restored to me. So maybe Of Mice and Men will help you with that. Or maybe even The Grapes of Wrath. Um, and then the last recommendation I have is for just sadness. Sometimes we're just sad and we can't explain why I've been there so many times. And people that haven't been there can't really understand it, but sometimes you're just sad. And for this, I recommend The Beastly Beatitudes of Balthazar B. It'll give you a new look on life. It'll make you a little bit happier and it just makes you smile. So those are my recommendations along with the other ones that I've already sent you. You know who you are. I hope these will help you and your family and anyone else that's watching this that needs a little extra oomph in their life, a little extra happiness, hope, joy. Check out one of these books and let me know if it's helped you. Or if you've read these books before in your hard times in life, let me know in the comments below. Um, 
we're all there together we're all in it together so let me know if you need anything i'm always here for you all uh you guys are my family so i love you to the moon and back bye